Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to a video where I, Sir Serta, am doing some more stuff on the realm. Yes, yes. Um, so today, what I wanted to accomplish is um, a few things. Um, firstly, I want to get a little bit more done on the ice cavern. I'm not really sure what is happening there. I really need to sort some stuff out. I started carving out a large circular room for some reason. Um, don't know why I wanted to wanted it circular and then I realized wait a minute this is actually meant to be more of a natural room um it can't be circular so uh yeah we, we we have we're having some issues why am I getting like really good thoughts now I'm now I'm thinking about making like a drill no 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 we're just gonna stick at what we're doing okay so what are we gonna do this episode we're also going to focus on doing some um I really want to get the railroad Coming from the railway station to my place. Um, now, this is going to be a big task. It's not going to be... It probably will take the whole episode because it's going to be a lot... A lot of placing in um, concrete, a lot of everything. And basically, the idea of this whole um, little railway station system is so that I can easily get to my base or get from my base... Um, if I don't have an elytra, if I don't have a, um, any rockets, which is never going to happen, let, let's be honest, I have literally a sugarcane farm and a seemingly endless supply of gunpowder, but I'm sure it's going to come in handy at some point, if not anything, it's just going to be a good way to get around when we're bored. Um, yeah. So today, I think, I think we should start on that. Also, before we get started, I am pleased to let you know that we actually have a Discord server. Um, so, the basic idea of, of it was so that I could chat with um, my friends and everything, and they could chat with each other without having to go into a private call. And so, um, it's slowly developed. We've got about, I don't know, 20 to 30 members right now. Um, might be 24, I don't know. I don't know. But, hopefully, um, by the time you're watching this video, I've got a invite in the Discord. Um, in the description right now, and yeah, you can just click on join, and you'll be in it. Now, basically, it will allow you to DM us, chat to us, I don't know, and we'll also have an option where you can share build ideas and anything for the realm, and and we're also thinking about opening it up to um, people that are in the server, people that we have been in the server for a long time, and like, um, what, do you, what would you call it, loyal server, server, um, server members i don't know because we, we have like four people and like we have three of those online right now five people maybe that are online consistently and and it's not enough it is it is definitely not enough anyway um that's all let's just get started okay first things first i'm going to try and i'm going to build my rail we have to build the rail so that it goes from the train station here all the way to the mega base which actually it's not that far. I guess the first thing that we want to do right now is work out where we're going to have the train stop. Um, that's a real big thing. Uh, it should be... Oh. I just had a really cool idea. Why don't we have it stop in a part of the tower? So that we get literally dropped off in the tower. I've been looking for a um, way to use these uh, floors. I cannot, it seems, fill them up with anything. And they really just need filling up. And look at this. It's a perfect entrance. I think we could I think we could make the fourth floor a um, tower entrance. Or even the fifth one. I think the fifth one would probably be a bit of a better one. Yep. Fifth floor it is. Um, now, this floor is 50 blocks off the ground. Which means we're going to have to bring that up a lot. Um, now, here's a question. Which way are we going to come in? I think we may come from that direction. I think that is the most scenic direction and most direct. So we'll have it coming in straight this way. Or at least something like it. Um, we could do something really cool here. Um, I'm willing to try it. But anyway, that is what we're going to do. Let's let's just get to it. So we want to first... I'm thinking because we have every eight, eighth block in this base is a redstone and a powered rail. A redstone block and a powered rail. Why don't we have it so that we just need to grab ourselves... Okay, we have our redstone blocks. And basically all we need to do is 
have the entrance coming from that direction and up there. Um, that should be pretty simple. Let's get to it. Okay, and now it looks like this. Um, I think that's okay, except there is definitely a situation going down here that I'm not really too certain about. I don't think um, I don't think that can stay, but we're going to have to search up or no, not search up, work out some other support options for the base. Um, but this definitely connected really well. Um, it works out very well with the sea lands. Um, every second sea land down there is another redstone block or another, um, what do you call it, another support. So I guess now all that's left is to go just keep going. Um, okay, I think this is a good entrance. Um, I'm not really sure. We're going to probably have to upgrade it in the future, but for now I think this will do quite nicely indeed. Next thing is to work out where we're going to have our departure air, um, departure spot. Now, these have already been marked out, but I don't actually think we're going to end up doing too many more farm sort of things. Like the slime farm, I don't go there enough or I don't see much of a point in it. The mesa, now we, were th we are thinking actually now um, of making it so that we have like our bases as like the um as in the overworld hub but everything else no but definitely i think we are going to have a arena um that is still going to come we are going to get thinking about that but i think after those we have three spots that are empty so i'm going to take the next one so that is base so we select that, and whichever one it was, I think it was Station Departure 5. Let's find out where that takes us. Takes us to this one. Yeah, and that makes sense. We are right here. Oh, no. How are we going to get out of here? Hmm. Let me think. I have worked out a way, and it means going up. <laughs> up um, very high. And there we go. I had to take out a tree in the process, which is it's always saddening. Um, yeah. Look at this. We um, are actually making a lot of rails recently. Look at this. We have three rails all up, uh, I think. And the last one that we made, the end rail goes 2,000 blocks, I th about that, goes a fair few, this one's only going to go like 200, 300, which is going to be a piece of cake, but probably not, because we have to make it line up perfectly to the sphere, which um, I'm dreading, uh, I don't want to take out this tree, so I think I'm going to go slightly around, okay, so I just ran out of concrete, but before we do that, um, look at the amount that this rail is just snaking at the moment, that is going to take a lot of concrete to do those corner parts, because like you got to move like for every one block, it's like two blocks used. It's pretty, it's pretty inefficient, but it, it's going to look really cool. And look at that, we're going to have to work out some sort of support system. Anyway, let's get our concrete. Okay, um, concrete acquired, I guess. Um, let's get back to building. Okay, um, a little bit later yet again, and we are really making this rail curved, guys. It is looking insane. This is going to just completely change the look of the railway. We're going to have to get to the point where the railway is looking too good for the hub and we're going to have to upgrade this. This isn't really, um, this doesn't really do it justice, I don't think. So we're going to have to come up with a better idea. Um, but this, this is pretty cool actually. Um, let's just continue. Okay, I'm so close to done and I just ran out of redstone. Um, so that's a bit of a problem, but I think I've been putting a little too much effort into this. Just, just maybe, um, yeah, I don't think there's a single spot, I don't think there's a single spot that isn't curved. <laughs> Tell me what you think about it in the comments, but, um, just before we get finished with it. Because this snakes, this really does snake. I think this is probably, like, one of the best rails you can probably build in... Um, Minecraft Survival. I should almost do a um, rail building tutorial because you know, you know we do we do have those aesthetic looks. We do. Anyway, um, I need to go scrounge some redstone off someone. Okay, after a lot of scrounging, and I mean a lot of scrounging, we have put together 37 blocks of redstone. 
I think that's all that the server has. I think that's all that everyone has in the realm. I think I think we should have sort of thought more on using detector rails when it came down to building this. Um, because redstone blocks, they are expensive. Um, extremely expensive, in fact. Oh, sadness. We're going to have to build a witch farm very soon because we are... We are redstone deficient. I never thought I'd be saying that. Like, I always thought redstone was a really easy to get resource, but obviously I was wrong. Obviously I was very, very wrong. Yeah, so I may have gotten a bit over, um, carried, um, in my curvature of my rail because the, it, it goes good. And then at this point, at this point, we sort of make a decision, hey, let's go that way. And really, we get here and now I have to go out and around so I can line up, um, it's going to be a bit scuffed, I think. A bit very scuffed. What well, once may very well have been a very simple, very easy job has been turned into a very tedious one. Um, I'm doing like a full-on turn. <laughs> this is going to be so stupid when it's complete. Oh my gosh. Why couldn't I just have come from there, like that corner right there and just come straight? Boom. Nah, we had to go all the way. All the way. Anyway, let's see how this turns out. Okay, um, we're done. Um, and I must say yet again, I have put way too much effort and thought into this. Um, let's see. Okay, so it begins, um, all the way back here. I mean, you guys will see it now, but like, yeah. It literally starts here, and from there it doesn't stop whining. It does not stop winding at all. Um, yeah. So it looks really good, right? And then you get a little bit closer, and it gets a little bit scuffed. It gets a, it gets a little bit scuffed. I, um, I'm not sure what happened here. I'm not sure at all, but it looks okay. The only part that really doesn't make much, um, that doesn't really look good is probably that part right there, and that part. But I think that's only because we're going up and turning at the same time, which can't be avoided, really. Otherwise, it'd be a bit too hard. And uh, with a couple blocks off here. But that's okay. That is fine. But otherwise, it connects perfectly. And it looks perfect other than that. I was trying to really go for a very good loop section, but uh, didn't really work. We just take out a fair amount of trees here. But... um. Yeah, now we just got to layer it all in. We just got to fill in all the uh, missing pieces, which is the rail itself and the concrete the, and the cyan terracotta. Um, it's going to be quite a project. Let's get to it. Okay, so it's the next day yet again, and I've had a thought. Why don't we have, instead of this little loop-the-loop -loop business, whatever this is, um, also I noticed that one of, my, I think my brother, was it? Uh, yeah, he went and added heap of rails to it. Um, so that's handy, but for this loop bit um, and up to this point where it gets really Where we have to really turn it. I'm thinking why don't we just go all the way through this dome and what we can do is add a bit of a Effect where um, the dome sh looks like it's shattered Like it, there's a crack in it and then we can have it spiraling up slowly around and come on come into the here Yeah, so I'm gonna just deconstruct all of what I've done here and we should be um, good. Actually, instead of doing that, why don't we just continue um, with the grey concrete and finish the rail up to the point where we think we'll just keep, we'll just um, turn it back into the crack. I think that'll work better. That way we can make our mind on the way. This is the part where it actually starts getting really interesting because we can actually start to see part of the, um, like start to go through a really bushy area. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to look good. I just died. <laughs> oh, and I'm all the way back here. Well, since when did I dig up my... But wow, who made a really nice path from the spawn area? Hmm, how nice of them. But we need to get back, and what better way to get back without an elytra? Well, I'll show you. But of course the rail! Um, yeah, it's quite useful. Um, yeah. The decoration is is not at all needed, like all, all of that grey concrete and everything, but hey, it makes it look nice. We still need to get rid of those um, bits of tree, everything that are in the way. But otherwise, um, 
This is pretty cool. And even an unfinished railway can work. It's actually quite nice. It is very curvy, I must add that. It is very, very curvy. But that's that's fine. That that is. I'm fine with that. Um, I think it oh, does it take us the whole way? I think it does. Let's go. Let's 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 see how it goes. Yeah, because we, we haven't destroyed this part yet, thank goodness. That would have been bad if we did. <laughs> uh, look at this though. I do like this swirly bit, but I don't think it can stay. It adds like another 15 seconds onto the ride, and that is not isn't it's not it's not good. I, I will say that. Wow. And then we come. And it's like a straight up shot. See, it's got for us it will be a little bit more curvy and everything, but this works. This works very well actually. I think I've done a lot this episode, um, and I'm really lost yet again. I don't know how I keep on losing myself in these episodes. I, I just I need to get more organized, I guess. I, I need definitely get a little bit more organized. But here we are. Um yeah. We did a lot of that. A lot of that. I'm gonna do some more stuff on that later but right now I'm just gonna call it a day because like this is this video is recording I've been kind of busy and we've gone over like three days and it's ridiculous so um I guess I guess bye just just bye